Four of the six, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I got something really interesting to talk about today, but please, on me, go and take some Vulture Aid. All right. So we know in Zombies this year, well, not just Zombies, but Black Ops 6 as a whole, they're adding a lot of customization, not just like they do every year with guns and all that jazz. I'm talking about stuff like the minimap or the HUD. And look, so far, I really think people are digging the customization. I know, me personally, I'm gonna be logging onto the game and playing with no HUD, especially on Liberty Falls. But look, we've been studying Activision's marketing schemes, right, within the past three, four years. I feel like I know what's coming. Now my friend Morgan, you should go check out his channel, very cool too, we had a discussion here. and We talked about a custom HUD, for example, right? And he made an excellent point. He said, look, they give you the opportunity to turn off the HUD, right? Take away things, move them around. But why not just give us a fantastic HUD first and foremost that maybe we wouldn't even have to change. It could change based on if someone's streaming or a personal player style. And you may think, oh look, well, well Treyarch obviously just wants to give us old HUD customization presets like we had in the old games. Maybe you preferred Black Ops 3's HUD a little better and where the minimap was. Maybe you preferred it round or square. Or maybe you think there's stuff on your screen that you just want to take off. And recently there's been some leaks to point towards even more customization coming in the future. Hold on, let's hit the box. The Holger 556, very nice. And look, now we have even more information about future HUD presets and even more customization coming to Black Ops 6, and I think I know where they're going with this. Take a look with me here, and take an Ethereum Crystal too, thank you very much, but anyway. Right here we have even more customization that was found in the PC files of the game. It, it looks like you're able to change color. I can see people in the future doing this for Terminus. Maybe they want a green HUD, maybe Liberty Falls, I'd personally go orange. But yeah, you can change the color as well, and I think you could even like turn the opacity down, put it in different places on your screen, even more uh, than you had with the custom presets uh, over last week's beta. But let's think about Activision for a second here, all right, stay with me. What have they sold in the future, cosmetic type things in the store? We're talking announcers, Snoop Dogg, we're talking skin, stuff that doesn't change the gameplay, but gives you a different look almost. I believe they've even done it with menu music and sound effects for Modern Warfare 2, right? It was like old Modern Warfare 2 sound effects and like AC-130 above, and I think they put them in the new Modern Warfare 2 if I'm not mistaken. I could see in the future, and if it's not this year, definitely I believe next year in Call of Duty 2025, they're going to have stuff in the store you know, maybe packaged with skins and weapons like that. Just make these bigger, more expensive, juicy bundles for everybody. And you know what? At first thought, you're like, oh God, now every HUD in the game's just gonna suck and they want you to buy these and then, oh, it's gonna look all, you know, 100 times better after you buy the classic Black Ops 2 HUD because who didn't like that one? What would you run? Honestly, I would like a future game with the Call of Duty 3. I'm talking OG COD 3. It was like, what, 2005, 2006? Imagine a pack with that. You get like an old character, but it's like remodeled and remastered. And then you also have a classic Call of Duty 3 HUD with voice lines. Voice lines maybe, because you know what? It wouldn't be hard to bring the old HUDs back, right? Because those are what? Illustrations, certain text. But, you know, voice lines, those are like copyrighted voice lines from people, so that may be a bit hard. Maybe they haven't done that as much, right? Unless it's fresh. Like, I feel like Snoop Dogg comes back every year. But it's like, you know, when Call of Duty has a problem, they know how to fix it, and they know how to fix it and make money at the same time. So we gotta be real here. I would love if they just gave us updates, right, in each season. You know, I thought we were gonna have that in Modern Warfare 3, right? It was all the leaks. It was saying, look, we're gonna get an Advanced Warfare DLC, uh, season, if you will, sorry about that. Based on like Advanced Warfare, maybe another one based on World of War, uh, you know, stuff like that. Modern Warfare 3, the old Modern Warfare 3, and then we just got some random stuff. So are they, are they trying to like bring that into a future season? Maybe in Black Ops 6, we go back to World at War. We know Prestige System is already doing this, right? The first time you Prestige, it's World at War based. You get a World at War emblem, that's freaking sick. Holy crap. I love when they acknowledge old games. And like I said in the last one, please just remaster the World at War campaign. But anyway, guys, you get the gist. I think that's going to happen. Let me know in the comments if you disagree or if you agree. I always love continuing the conversation down below. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope to see you guys in a future video. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. That would be awesome. We're almost to 1,000 subs, and that means I get to personally buy Black Ops 6 myself which I kind of need because I want to cover it so bad. So please, take an Ethereum crystal for the road. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you. 